celebrating all things uh, arts and culture right here on DXB today. And joining us here on the sofa is, of course, the founder of the Ferretti Contemporary, Mara Ferretti, joining us live. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, really kind of you to come on down and tell us a bit more about the gallery scene here in the UAE. But I want to start, if we can, with the Alcaz Arts Fest, because look, there are no shortage of arts festivals and arts organisations around town now. Dubai, the UAE have really invested into many of them. Um, when it comes to you to align with, you can't align with all of them. So what sort of sets one festival apart from another? Well, um, I think what uh, Al Sarkal Avenue is doing, it's great because they're catering towards a broader um, uh, audience that mm. uh, involves um, every sort of age so and mostly caters to families so it is really really amazing to have uh, especially the young ones coming in and starting to appreciate art uh, it does create a lot of vibe for us gallerists because uh, we see new audience each year and uh, it increases each year thanks <laughs> to their amazing work and yeah it is really it's really a pleasure to share uh, our artists and the arts uh, with um, especially with the younger generation. Mm. So Mara, would you say there's, um, obviously we're talking about local uh, festivals and local arts culture scene. Um, how is the international uh, scene like coming into the UAE and coming into Dubai? Do you see an influx of that and more happening? Absolutely. In the last few years, I believe all eyes are on Dubai, thanks to the uh, art fairs that we have and the um, great work of um, the, the several galleries that have come in, bringing in a lot of uh, good art. And there is also uh, a lot of quality, good artists that are growing um, uh, locally, thanks to uh, the Golden Visa that has attracted uh, a lot of uh, international artists to come and create their artworks uh, within the UAE. Ah, so, yeah, I heard yeah. about that initiative. So tell, me, tell us more about that initiative. So, so, uh, so the, you can get a Golden Visa if you're an outside, outside artist coming in and doing your art here. Yeah, it's a, it's a visa dedicated to creative minds. So we've seen a lot of good artists moving into um, uh, the UAE and uh, being based here facilitates um, uh, for them to showcase their artworks and uh, yeah it's really great. Mm, fantastic. That's and of course we also have Art Dubai coming up uh, oh, in yeah, October yeah, which yeah, is no, just yeah. around the corner which brings um, um, a lot of very good high quality international galleries and uh, yeah it's uh, it's really thriving at the moment. Sure. Yeah. Mara, can you tell us a little bit about what we might expect to see in terms of artists um, during Kuz Arts Fest? If someone was to kind of walk into your gallery, what would they expect to see? Absolutely. Right now we have uh, two ongoing show. We have a solo show by our artist Yusra al Wahba. She is a resident mm -hmm. of the UAE and she's an Egyptian artist celebrating the resilience of women through her beautiful artworks and their beautiful colored um, uh, wall installations and at the same time we have a duo show between uh, two artists that have a, a lot in common uh, Sassan Al-Bahar mm -hmm. uh, she is a Syrian artist currently showing at the Louvre Abu Dhabi mm. and also an Emirati artist that is from Abu Dhabi uh, so a, lo a lot of their works interconnect so we're looking forward to receive uh, the crowd of al Quds Fest <laughs> So Mara, I know I've been here in Dubai for a while and I've kind of seen how the uh, art industry has kind of grown and I think predominantly, and tell me if you think I'm wrong, before there was a big focus on international artists being here. I think Dubai had this kind of vision that, you know, if it's from outside of the region, it's better. You know, we see it in restaurants, we see it in fashion. But now I think there is more of a focus on bringing regional uh, artists to the spotlight. Can you just talk to us a little bit about how you find local artists and, you know, bring them into your gallery? Absolutely. We have uh, two great universities in Abu Dhabi and a lot of good artists are coming out of there and we uh, try to approach the younger ones and uh, guide them through um, this whole process of growing into the art field and exposing them as well uh, to other markets in Europe, in the United States. 
yeah, we've seen a lot of good talents and uh, the way we find them is um, when they start having their first university shows and we are really, uh, you know, called in from their uh, creative mind and their talent and yeah, that's how it starts. If you, if, 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 if one walks into your gallery as well, is there an ele element of education that you bring to bear as well? A lot of people come in looking to invest in art, but how many people fully understand what they're investing into or the potential of what they're investing into. Do you find yourselves educating would-be investors when they come into the gallery? Absolutely, all the time, yes. And we try to divert the fact, um, a lot of people come in trying to look for something to decorate home, but yeah. that that's not art, you know, that's not our job. Our job is to uh, take them through the exhibition and um, let them understand the value, um, the, the value behind the work, not mm. only what the, tr the artist is trying to express, but also the value of the artist himself and his uh, uh, artistic journey. And uh, it's very important to understand the artistic journey of the artist because that tells you how much the artwork might grow in time. Mm. So uh, being uh, exhibited in museums or uh, being part of certain art collection will definitely give um, a higher value to the artwork. So we try to understand uh, these sort of elements of mm. investing in art. Mm. But it's, um, it's, it's, um, it's a beautiful, it's our work, it's our, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Do you cater more living artists or, or past? We deal with contemporary art, so living artists. Okay. Yeah. Incredible. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mara, and just thank you for having helping us. us to decipher the world of art. And now it is time for us to check out the spotlight on a brand creating a handmade customised art that gets its inspiration from founders' experience in soulful healing. This is Nishma's Art. Loud. Little insight into Nishma's Art there. Another great initiative. Okay. Time for a roundup. Lane, what you got for us? So, Art Dubai 2024 is almost here. And this year they're placing the migrant experiences and artistic healing in their focus. So taking place at the Madnat Jumeirah um, between the 1st and the 3rd this year. And this year's event is gonna be highlighting art's role, nurturing hope and healing. It will also focus on the impact of extreme weather and the perceptions of identity, belonging and culture. These are the points based in reflections of local communities. And I think this is something that's needed. Um, something specifically about when you're talking about the, the migrant experiences. A lot of us here are expats and some people might even call us migrants. All pioneers <laughs> in one way or another, aren't they? You're all, you're all searching out something new, something, yeah. uh, another opportunity, etc. Yeah. So there is an element in, in terms of that. Um, mm. I love Art Dubai. I just love yeah, Art Dubai. It's one of my I think it's favorites. one of the first gigs that I sort of, when I, I covered as a journalist when I first came here all those years ago. Mm. And to see it grow and see it, the influence, the impact it's having, not just in the city, but also globally. And I remember, Gilda, I mean, I remember back in the days and you know, a lot of the sort of internationals used to look at sort of Dubai and the art scene and be a little bit sneery about it. But that's changed, hasn't it? It's changed. Yeah. Changed fundamentally now yeah, because it has sure. become such a great sort of platform. I mean, you design platforms for, for artists and the arts in general. Mm -hmm. Art Dubai almost has become a brand in its own right, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Also, I think because of where we're located as well, the accessibility. Is, is quite large as well. Alster Calho has, has its own art week um, in March as well, Feb February, March, which sits alongside the wider art week calendar. Mm. And definitely it's, it's, it's grown over the years. Yeah. I think it's quite important to have a base, you know, I mean? and, and it's always been there. If you remember back in the day, it's always been at that same place. So, so it's one of those uh, f festivals and, and something that you could always rely on. Mm. And it's always high quality. And uh, to the same with Alcuz as well, you know, I mean, you can rely and, and understand what you're going to be getting into. And I think that's key. I just love the way it's sort of branched and gone. And you're so right, Gilda, to say that, that it's become, you know, it's not just an exhibition now. Art Dubai is, yeah, is the week. It's, a, it's, it's a fair. It's the movement, it's isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's everything that goes on around it. It is, yeah. There's yeah. a lot happening in the city around that time. A lot of international press come into town. You have a lot of collectors in town, so big institutions. Just a, a quick one on that as well, because we mentioned a little bit earlier on about sort of more artists using 
Dubai as a base mm -hmm. for their art as well. A lot more homegrown talent coming up as well. Is that that support network sort of growing up around artists to support them, to allow them to see their ambitions come true? I mean, I think Dubai, um, Ku's Creative Zone and Dubai Culture have kind of really uh, impacted that conversation a, a lot. There's been a lot of support and encouragement for creatives to come and kind of work in the space. Mm. We're very lucky to have them as partners for um, Ku's Arts Fest as well. Um, so both Dubai Culture and Ku's Creative Zone are partnering with us and a lot of the kind of initiatives and incentives that they're working on at the moment we're trying to kind of align with us and support as well. We have installations from Sika Art, yeah. um, which happened earlier in the year. They'll be coming over to Ku's Fest as well. So there's a lot of collaboration happening in the city, which I think really supports that narrative as well. So I love the fact the, the actual the art festivals actually get on with one another. They talk to each yeah, other. Yeah, it's a community. Yeah. yeah, it is a community. <laughs> it's very important because otherwise you're competing with each other. You're competing with audiences, and there's, as you said, there's so much going on. There's something for everyone, and if one doesn't float your boat, then you go to another. But hopefully, you'll find a little something in all the different things happening in the How city. How many art pieces do you have at your home? <laughs> in my home. <laughs> <laughs> Not, <saying. laughs> Not as many I mean, as you would think. I made a lovely array. Of <laughs> <laughs> Not as many as you'd think. <laughs> I'm, ask, I'm a novice. Oh. I have to ask, okay, like we were saying earlier, like the art field can be quite intimidating. Like how do you think is the best way to like introduce yourself into the world of art? Honestly, I think if you have an interest, just go into a, like if you're walking past a gallery, go in and, and, and have a chat ask whoever's in there to tell you about the collection. You have a lot of kind of newer mm. collectors as well, or people who don't know what they want to collect or what they want to buy, or mm -hmm. um, I think just go in and, and chat to the gallery owners, go to, yeah. go, to the go to the festivals, go to the fairs, and just kind of get stuck in. You'll eventually figure out what you like. It does change your whole perception of when you actually speak to an artist. And, and they're actually explaining their inspiration, explaining their piece to you. It just You're just like, oh, I, oh yeah, I see that. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah and it, it makes, makes you so much more in, engaged. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Right, well, guys, it was a pleasure delving into that subject <laughs> with you. But now it is time for our art consultant, Neil Shuckler, to join us in the studio. Plus, Bia Kadri is at the fridge performing her new track, Pillow Talk, so stay with us. <laughs> 